therefore, I cannot trade for less than six teen Bubba Pops. Ah, kid only gave me three. <laughs> then you will leave, snackless. <sighs> Who's got something to treat? JP, give her your clothes. Okay. <gasps> Where did this come from? Sometimes a little bit of mystery goes a long way. Well, it's too bad you don't want to trade because I've got this limited edition two-piece blind box. <gasps> two-piece? What figure is in there? Well, it's a blind box, so I guess you won't know till you open it. If there's a floofy figure, then I can finally complete my collection. But what if it's a Bruno? I already have, like, eight Brunos already! What'll it be? Your bitter grudge with the elders? Or what's in the box? <laughs> the box! The box! <laughs> Here you go! Aha! I saved anime night! And I guess you helped. Bye! <sighs> All right, Kit. Now we're even, right? I actually got one more trade for you. Are you serious? There's not gonna be any time left in the day to play! Don't worry, it's an easy one. Just bring these chips to the Junk Lord, and he'll trade you a granola bar. Uh, that's it? That's it. And then we're square. Fill her up. <sighs> I can't believe we have to trade with the Junk Lord. That kid doesn't let go of anything, not even drunk. Well, I hope we all went to the bathroom, because this trade's going to take the rest of our lives. Here you go. Oh, th th that's it? You don't want to haggle or have a nervous breakdown? You think I'm going to eat that granola bar? There's no nuts, no dairy, no gluten, and no raisins, Craig. I might as well be chewing on cardboard. And I got plenty of cardboard. <laughs> mm, I think there was a burger in this. So you have no problem with us taking this? Nope. But the junk cats, on the other hand. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got this, you guys. I learned cat from a cat goo. Who's my gooey kitty? Who's my gooey kitty? You forgot to tell us about the cats. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes with trading, <clears throat> you gotta distract a bunch of feral cats with a can of tuna. And I forgot to give you that tuna. Sorry about that. You're sorry? Do you have any idea what those beasts put us through? I can still hear their horrible howls. <laughs> yeah, and I think this experience is gonna leave a mark on Mortimer. Look, Kit, I know you're trying to run a business here, but people matter too. Like me, I lost a whole day at the creek, running back and forth, trading stuff, and nearly getting eaten by feral junk cats. But, of course, you don't even care, because you have no heart! Oh, hey, is that my nut-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, raisin-free granola bar? Thanks, kid. Ah, uh, you shouldn't be thanking me, Todd. It was these fellows who got it for you. You should be thanking them. Huh? <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I'm basically allergic to everything, so this is the only snack I can eat. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Uh, well, now that you mention it. No, it was no problem. Well, thanks, Craig. You sure I can't trade anything for it? Now, Todd, you know the drill. It's on the house. Bye, thanks again. See you tomorrow. Kit, I'm sorry I said you had no heart. Ah, uh, that's okay. But still, you did make us do a lot of trading. Boy, please, you had to make three measly trades. Do you know what I traded for those red velvet choco rolls? Just gonna go buy some almond milk. Where's my car? Uh, no, 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 I see you, I see you, I see you! Thank goodness for Duck Mart. <laughs> I think we're gonna make it. Uh-oh, I don't know about that. There's a whole bunch of traffic all the way back to Grandma Granddad's place. Craig, open the glove compartment. What? Uh huh? Quickly, push the button now. Wh when did this get here? Just push it. Nuh-uh. Yeah-huh, and don't interrupt. The front seat is beautiful. Craig, I know I'm growing up and things are changing, but I'll always be your brother, and you'll always be mine. Doesn't matter where we sit. Bernard, I... What the... Oh, yeah! Oh, mm. 
my back's not what it used to be. But I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Y'all play too much. All this dancing has me working up an appetite. I guess I'll go get that pie. <laughs> Wait, Mom, no! No, Mom, stop walking! What is going on with you? Sorry, Craigie. I remember you when you're grounded. Uh, it's a long story. But we have a pie. This better work. Wow, Miss Nicole. Looking good. Looking great. Looking good. Looking great. Please, turkey gods, let this pie save Thanksgiving. It's good. <laughs> Tastes just like the ones I buy every year. But bye. Mama, you bought those pies? You said they were homemade. That's right, homemade at Duck Mart. Yeah! Yay, the pie is good, the pie is good! It worked, I'm saved! We did it! Uh, uh, no wonder she never used my sweet potatoes. Now I know. Uh, I don't think it's fair that she could just buy a pie, but y'all still make fun of my plate. You're right, baby. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna appreciate her plate. This pie's good. Mm. Back at the kids' table. Back at the kids' table. Are you an on-call doctor? Because somebody keeps blowing up your phone. I'm young. Oh, party's back on. I mean, I gotta go study for a party. I mean, gotta party, party the books. Yep, okay. Bye, everybody. Love you. Bye. Bye, baby. Did she say party? Uh, Bernard, there's a seat open now, if you want it. At the adults' table? Yes. Yes. And just like that, I watched my big brother walk away. Just like a big brother walking away. Hey, Craig. Kids' table forever. Kids' table forever. Wow. wow. So did you bring us some of that pie that brotherly love bought? Nah. My family devoured it in like five seconds. So I brought this. It's the rest of the pie bits that Gus knocked on the floor. Uh, is there cat hair in it? Mm hmm. You allergic to cats? Mm, nope. No, I, I eat cat hair all the time. Oh, mm. The cat hair adds a saltiness. And that's the story of the kids' table. And how did my voice get so deep? Well, that's a story for another half hour special. You're not even gonna eat it! You just wanna use it for your dumb Garobi shrine! So what? I care more about her than I do you, you blockhead! You kiss your shovel with that mouth? Uh oh. Hey, stop! Wow, this is sad. Yeah. Wanna guess who bites it first? I'll put two chaco rolls on Elder Mark. Ugh, traffic's so thick. Yes, it's podcast time. Welcome to JP's podcast, brought to you by Website Maker. Website Maker. With Website Maker's easy to use layouts, you're gonna be like, okay, I just did a website. That wasn't hard. Okay, this plan is gonna work. Trip on this. We put our rock under the rock. Pump some air in that bad boy to lift the rock. Elders are free and no parents in the creek. All right, this better work. Ah. Stop it, there's only dirt left. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what the? It's working! Finally! Sweet freedom! Davy is thirsty! David, no! Let me in first! <laughs> We're saved! No, 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 no! I can come up with another plan! Ah! Crack it's over! Nicole. You can't! You don't have the authorization! Ow! Ow! Okay, you stop! Wow! Hello, Craig! Salutations, Miss Nicole! It's Kelsey, friend of Craig! Breaker of the lamp the other day. Hello? Uh, Craig? I can barely hear you, honey. I'm at the store and it's pretty loud. Uh, excuse me, is it possible to turn down the music just a... JP! Hey, Miss Nicole! Wanna use my employee discount? Hello? Well, chat. Hello? This will be our last stream, and our last act as living Cubans on this earth. We'd like to thank our new subs, Mantra Cruncher 13, Zero Macau, Operator Stream. Candy Bobby, That's it. 
Don't you think they're kind of shallow? Your elder ships! Huh? Hand me your stream camera thing. Attention, Creek kids. As funny as it is to watch the elders bicker and fight under a rock, we need to come together and help free them. We all play differently here at the Creek. But what unites us is that this is where we can be ourselves. And if one of us is in trouble, we help each other out. Because the Creek is better than the outside world. But if we don't help the elders out now, a parent is gonna come to the Creek and then we're all in big trouble! <gasps> We will help, because my parents cannot know I hang out in the sewer all day. And so will we, because if our parents ever saw the sick jumps that we can land, their brains would be spaghettified. And I'm operating a business without a license! For the elders! For, For the, the creek. creek! You see this baby face? This right here is a child. Why would you hire a child to work in your store? I want his employee discount. Come on, JP! Thank you, George. You really saved the day on this one. No, no problem. Hello, I'm sorry about that, sweetie. Is everything all right? Righto, everything is a-okay. Pray, you catching a call? Well, you wouldn't believe it, but I ran into JP at the store. He wanted to tell you something. Right, uh, Mark is fired. Oh. Well, back in the hole. You must decide which JP is real and which is a fake. It's me, Kelsey. I'm the real JP. Wait, you're the real JP? No, I'm, I, I'm the real JP. Oh my gosh, who am I? This is gonna be tough. Oh, I know, I'll ask something only the real JP would know the answer to. What is 45,954 divided by 1,242? Oh, jeez. Think, think, think. Oh, I got it. The answer is 37. Ha! Everyone knows the real JP's best subject is dinosaur history, Baker. Ha-ha! <laughs> Man, you look dumb right now. Why did I know that? Huzzah! You have completed the hero's trials. You may now present the certificate of worthitude to your father. What is this? Worthitude? It's not a word. It's a certificate to show that I passed the hero's trials. Hmm, let me guess. This is about your sword. And to prove my worthitude, I had to decipher the bad guy in the Slide the Fair comic book series, and then I ate a whole bag of the hottest snack in the world, and then, and, and, and I was able to tell the difference between my best friend and his clone, which was actually just a mirror. You, you, you're not impressed? Kelsey, you've missed the point. I trusted you to wield your sword responsibly, and you made a mess of Craig's house. A mess that I still have to fix because I didn't have the right paint. So now I have to go back to the hardware store after work because Mrs. Williams won't let me come back to her house in the morning for some irrational, inexplicable reason. <sighs> if you're not up before the sun, you'll never get anything done. That's what I always say. He didn't like our certificate? Yeah, he said fortitude wasn't a word. But don't worry, I know how to fix this. And that's by fixing your wall. My dad doesn't have the right paint he needs, so we're going to the hardware store to get some and fix it for him. The hardware store? But that means we're gonna have to take the bus. Well, we got the paint. Now how are we gonna pay for it? I have an idea. Hopefully it works. Excuse me, hardware merchant? My sword, as well as my father's trust, is on the line. I require your paint. And I am willing to reward you with the finest snacks one can offer in exchange. Quarter-inch construction-grade PVC pipe with the smooth finish? Sword Girl, is it really you? Pipesmith, you remember me? I never forget a cut, especially one used to forge a sword capable of battling injustice. Usually, it's just to repair a broken toilet or something. Do not fret over the paint. Your respect for polyvinyl piping is payment enough. Wall Potion Acquired! Here, a little paint there, and uh, Oh, and don't, uh, oh, you guys. Mrs. Williams, I'm here to fix the wall. I hope you don't mind I made my own key. Not breaking and entering. Huh? Father, I know I've let you down. So, in order to make amends, my noble companions and I have repaired the damage I've done. 
Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I mean, the craftsmanship is actually really terrible. But I am so proud of you. You took responsibility for your actions. You've truly proven yourself worthy of my trust. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Does this mean Kelsey can get her sword back and you can also stop coming to my house so early? Yes. <gasps> After she helps me fix the wall properly. Hey, <laughs> totally fair. Neil, how did you get into my house? And what have you done to my wall? Oh, I didn't. I did, uh huh? Mr. Bogley, run! 